Hi guys. Hi vlog. Hi guys. How are you? Welcome back to another video, another vlog. My life in a video. It's Sunday, it's 2.45 right now. And I really want to bleach my eyebrows. And I thought that would be a great starting point to this vlog because it could definitely go one of two ways. But I figured if it looks bad, I can just fill them in or dye them back. Um, life is short. Bleach your eyebrows. And so that's what we're going to be doing. I also, I think around like four or five, I'm going to a carnival or like fair of sorts um, in Astoria with a friend because I keep telling her how much I'm craving like corn dogs and fair food. I love fair food more than anything. So I'm really excited about that. But this is the start of the vlog. We're going to bleach my eyebrows and go to a carnival today. <laughs> so it's, it's giving circus. Um, and yeah, hopefully we have a fun week ahead of us. I have like some events this week. Um, tomorrow, one of my favorite restaurants in New York, Carbone, invited me in for a happy hour, which I'm kind of shook about because I struggled to even get a reservation there. So the fact that I got invited in for some free drinks and some free food is very exciting. Um, and then Tuesday, I have like a piercing and tooth gym event with Ro Rowan. Rowan. Um, so yeah. It's gonna be a fun week and you guys are gonna come along with me. Let's go get some bleach. Okay. I'm on FaceTime with Amanda. Do you wanna say hi? Hi vlog. <laughs> um, I called my hairstylist and I'm sending her updates like every, I'm gonna do five minutes honestly. Um, but she said wait till it looks like the color of the inside of a banana. And then we're taking it off so I'm gonna mix my bleach together and then come through with a spoolie. Okay, so the first step is washing my face. Okay, no going back. I'm in a really big rush, but my eyebrows are done. Can you see? I really like them. I still need to do like some purple shampoo and toning, but I like them a lot. I feel like a little alien. And yeah, but this is my outfit. My shirt is from Dump Him, and then my shorts are just these Levi's 501s, I believe. Um, yeah, 501s, and I got them from Nordstrom's, and then my cowgirl boots are thrifted. Um, but yeah, I'm in a really big rush. Oh, shoot. I need to call my Uber, but we're going to Astoria Park Carnival, which is happening Saturdays and Sundays in New York. So I'll let you know if it's fun. I can't wait to get a corn dog and a funnel cake.
actually ready. <laughs> when you're not three, so you shouldn't go on slides. Okay, what ride are we doing now? Adorable, wait. Hi guys. I think my last content I took was at the carnival. I won my little unicorn. We kind of look alike. Ooh, I need to put on lipstick. But, um, it's Monday now and it's two o'clock. I just got ready, I'll show you my outfit. I'm wearing a little Adidas cardigan. I think this tank top is from Princess Polly. My pants are Carhartt and my Adidas. So I'm gonna go to this Carbone event with two of my friends. Uh, my friend Cassie is almost here and then we're picking up our other friend Jack on the way. And yeah, I'm really excited because I'm starving. I haven't eaten since my corn dog last night. And I love pasta, so. I'm very excited. Also, this is like full circle. I remember I used to live across the street from Carbone and I like couldn't even get a reservation there. My dad has came to visit so many times and he's like, get us a reservation at Carbone. I really want to try it. And it's so hard. And now I got invited in full circle, but let's go eat some pasta. Hi guys, good morning. It's, I don't even know, one o'clock. <laughs> I haven't vlogged since yesterday. I think when we were at the Carbone event, actually. I was bad at vlogging yesterday because I kind of had a bad day. <laughs> but we're back and today's gonna be better. So Cassie and I are going to an event for Rowan and we're gonna go get tooth gym and ear piercings so it's literally bound to be better it can't go worse um this is my outfit i'm wearing this i love lucy shirt and these low-rise pants which ruby was selling at the closet sale and these loafers yeah do you want to show your outfit <laughs> sure. welcome cassie to the vlog hi vlog um my outfit is thrifted this top in la pants are i am gia and shoes thrifted in florida i want to go thrifting in florida so bad it's the best i the best keep best saying best. it but i have yet to go anyways let's go get a matcha and then get our ears pierced Oh, 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 oh,
with Issa. Hello. Um, it's a few hours since I vlogged. I came home. You look like the point cute version of Miss Fizzy. Miss who? Miss Fizzy from like Magic School Bus. Oh, oh. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Um. We're going to dinner at Balthazar. Why am I doing this? Um, I fell asleep for a few hours because my allergic reactions be acting up and then I have Benadryl and then I get super tired. So it's like 9 o'clock and now we're going to go to Balthazar, which is a super yummy restaurant. And you guys are coming with. Per usual. <laughs> I look like a teacher. Oh, I'll give you a little foot check before we go. I'm wearing this Marc Jacobs cardigan from Heaven. These white tank tops I got from Target today. Some corduroy pants from Stussy and then my white Vagabond loafers. Wednesday, Wednesday, it's Wednesday, I think this 16, 17. Alien looking girl. Um, right. It's like three o'clock. I haven't vlogged today because I had a mover come. I have curtains installed now. Very happy about it. Now my neighbors don't get to see a free show every night. You also talk about a naked neighbor. Oh, I am the naked neighbor. Yeah, yeah. He hung up my mirror curtains and then we got some artwork hung up in here I'm gonna make this like a whole art wall um, there's just some blank space I need something there here then it will look better um, and then I'm covering you up because I'm want the anticipation for an apartment tour we have curtains hung up in here now because when I have a guest over I don't want the lights waking them up in the morning. We all need our beauty sleep. And then I made a bag wall. And Issa and I maybe spent 30 minutes arranging the purses on this <laughs> to try and make it look aesthetic. So I really hope that it looks nice to you guys because we spent a little bit too much time doing it. Yay. We're gonna go eat now. We're really hungry. We're going to Wild Ginger. Wild Ginger, it's For like vegan, vegan Asian Chinese. fusion food. It's really yummy. I got, this is all vegan, but I got a spring roll, rice, and sweet and sour. You got general Tao. Mm -hmm. Same thing. But this place is really good. If you're in New York, come to Wild Ginger. Okay, so on my way home, I got some plants that I'm going to hang on my windows. Because I want my apartment to just have like an overwhelming amount of plants. I also bought a new planner because I feel like I just needed a fresh start and also my planner like kind of hurts my eyes. I hate this design so much. <laughs> so I wanted something that will look nice on my desk. But I'm going to attempt to hang up these plants now. I hope that it's not like too much weight. Plant number one. I just asked her the easiest to keep alive. And then plant number two. This one's kind of heavy. I don't think I can go on my curtain rod. Like these curtain rods aren't looking very stable. I don't know about that because how am I going to close my curtain? I don't know. I'll show you guys the finished product. Hi guys. Is this focusing? So I just got ready for dinner and I can't tell if I'm matching too much or just enough. <laughs> But I'm wearing, I love to match. I'm wearing this um, tank top. Probably get a better look. This. It's from Daydreamer. It's Joan Jett. And then my trousers are thrifted. And my hat I got in the mail today from Lack of Color. And then my shoes are my Adidas Wales Bonners. And this is the fit. I kind of look crazy. Like, am I wearing too much green? I don't really care, I think I like it. Whatever. Guys, I 
have bad news. It's Thursday morning. After dinner, we decided to stop by our friend Isaac's party at a bar in New York. And it's a pretty small bar. And I left my phone on the couch, went back 10 minutes later, and she was gone. And she is in deep Brooklyn now. She's in Red Hook, Brooklyn as of 4 a.m. this morning. It's 10 a.m. now. It won't refresh anymore. I think like whoever stole it turned it off. There's no more service. I can't play the sound or anything, which is really annoying. But I put it on lock mode and hopefully that does something. I don't know. I think it's gone. I feel like these things happen and it sucks, but there's just really nothing you can do. That being said, I'm on my way to get my nails done because I still had this nail appointment and I wasn't gonna miss it. I've been trying to go the past week and I finally got an appointment, so thank God my friend called me an Uber. And yeah, and then literally right after my nail appointment, I'm just gonna go to the Apple store and see if what they say. I'm assuming they're gonna be like, it's gone, sweetie. Have to buy a new phone which is really annoying i'd rather spend my money on anything else absolutely anything else but it's life remember your phone This side says the F word, and this side says this. So then when they're like, you know, I wish someone could hold the camera and I could show you, but you get the hint. I'll post a picture on my Instagram, so follow me there. But, I decided, I found out, theft over $500 is a felony. So I'm going to file a police report for my phone and then maybe I can get like some sort of insurance or they can go track him down but it's the only time I'm happy that iPhones are so expensive because now it's theft so I'm gonna go file a police report super fun day and then get a new phone hi guys I'm feeling a lot better since the last time we spoke. <sighs> Stay. Okay. So, I, I look scary. Okay, I am, don't have to buy a $1,500 new phone. So I'm really happy about that because I really thought that was going to be the case because I had this situation like where I broke my computer last year and I had to buy a whole new computer and it was very expensive and just abrupt and it's kind of like... I hate that. So, I've had a long day. I filed a police report. I went to the AT&T store. We're back. I got my nails done. Here, I can show you them now where you can like read them. But, turns out my phone plan has insurance. And so I was able to file a claim and deactivate my old phone. That stupid person can have some bad karma. And I got a new phone for 150 bucks. Which is not that bad. I thought I was going to have to spend like 10 times that. And so, a full new phone, same gigabytes and everything. Um, and it's going to be shipped to my doorstep tomorrow. Which is super easy. So, happy about that. I was really bummed because I thought I was going to have to spend like the money I want to like treat myself on like food and stuff like that on a new phone. And I didn't have to. And so, I went and got some candles afterwards. For my new home um, my favorite candles if you're wondering cannabis by malin and getz and then i also bought one from Le labo and i got santal so that's how i made myself feel better today <laughs> um i don't know it was all my stupidity don't leave your phone unattended unattended can i speak <laughs> my brain's fried from today anyway 
I think I'm just gonna get dinner with friends tonight and lay low. But that's all. Thanks for experiencing today with me. And I'll catch you guys in a few hours. Okay, so I just got ready for dinner. I'm wearing these pants that are, I think, Miss 60s they're called. They're from Ruby's Closet. And then this thing is from, what is this called again? Corset is from Urban Outfitters. Jacques Mousse heels. Um, fake glasses, because I'm that bitch. And necklace. <laughs> and Cassie's here, and we're gonna go get dinner. <laughs> hot summer nights um with timothy shalom if you haven't seen highly recommend i think like i just need my bangs down with the ble bleach brows otherwise i look like i have a 10 head but the brows aren't lasting long i think i'm gonna dye them back next week i'm just waiting to text my hairstylist i don't have her number on my ipad so i'm waiting for my new phone to come today um but my friend Liv and i are gonna go Shh. We're gonna go get some lunch at this place called Bubby's, which I'm excited because I've never been to before and I really like when I try new foods. But I had to tell her 30 minutes later because I break out in hives. I don't know if you can see. That's just a really bad bruise. I, like right here, do you see that red mark? I keep breaking out in hives, guys, and I don't know why. I would show you my leg, but I don't think it's that bad. Oh, actually, yeah, it is, okay. Look at, like, it's starting to go away, but the hives on my legs, like, 15 minutes ago were so bad. Like, it looked like I was, like, morphing into a creature. And it's so uncomfortable and painful, and I don't know what's causing it. <sighs> I need to find an allergist in New York, because I went to one in California, and um, they kind of didn't really help me. They just did some blood work, and, like, we found out it wasn't an autoimmune disease, which, thank God... But I still don't know what it is, and it's still happening, and it's just so uncomfortable. And then I like it's 12 o'clock. I said to take Benadryl, which is gonna make me so tired in like an hour. Benadryl knocks me out, and so it's just like kind of annoying. It's the only thing that helps, and I'm literally itching right now because <laughs> there's more. <laughs> uh, that's my issue. Glad I could get that out with you guys. Let's do an outfit check for lunch. <laughs> I'm wearing a white tank top, which I've just been wearing every day here because I sweat through everything else. So I bought like a pack of like Hanes tank tops the other day and it's literally all I've been wearing. Um, House of Sunny Capris and my flip flops are these platform ones from Tory Burch. They're really comfortable. I honestly, I swear to myself, I wouldn't wear open toes in New York. But these are not bad. These are like comfy. There's a platform so I feel like there's like enough room in between the ground and my toes. And yeah. My sunglasses are vintage Gucci to finish off the like 90s mom attire. I need a little, a little bag. I have to go, I have the hiccups now. See you guys at lunch. Okay, so I just got back and I set up my new phone. I still have to go to the AT&T store and like get my SIM card SIM card activated. But I'm gonna stop by the AT&T store and go to my friend's pop-up. I'm wearing this Girl Power shirt, which is actually um, available at the pop-up shop. The dress is 130 Green Street if you're in Soho. 
Um, I'm wearing Stussy black pants. I don't know if you can, if these even look good. I got them tailored and now I feel like they kind of fit me weird. Also, don't need my G strings showing that much. <laughs> Anyways, black pants and then I'm wearing my green Liberty Dunks. I never wear these enough, so I figured I'd whip them out tonight. And yeah, it's my outfit. Not too crazy. I think I may get a hat at the pop-up, so maybe I'll throw that with the outfit. I saw the Hi guys, so I realized I forgot to end the vlog with a proper outro, and I'm about to go get dinner with friends, so I thought I'd just give you my outfit for the night and leave you guys with that. Um, I'm wearing these Heaven by Marc Jacobs jeans. Super cute with just a white tank top and white loafers. And I'm gonna wear my white Paloma wool purse. But yeah, I hope you guys like this vlog. If you guys wanna see anything besides vlogs, let me know in the comments below. And I hope you guys have a really great week. I love you and thanks for watching.